Why don't electric cars have solar panels? It's one of those questions that sounds so simple, yet sparks endless debate. Most people confidently answer, because they're too expensive. But that's not actually true. The real reason runs deeper. It's about physics, efficiency, and a bit of math that might just surprise you. So today, let's unpack why solar panels on cars have always seemed useless, and why one strange, spaceship-looking vehicle from California might prove everyone wrong. Imagine this. You have a sleek electric car sitting in your driveway. You slap a solar panel on top, and voila, free energy, right? Not quite. Let's look at the numbers. Here's a 100-watt solar panel. Under perfect conditions, it produces 100 watts of power. But in the real world, a little less. Let's be generous and keep it simple. 100 watts for one full hour equals 100 watt hours of energy. Now, plug that energy directly into one of the most efficient electric cars sold today. Say, a Tesla Model 3 standard range. It goes about five miles per kilowatt hour. That means it uses roughly 200 watt hours of energy per mile. So what happens if you charge your Tesla for a whole hour under perfect sunlight? You gain enough energy to drive half a mile. Half. That's before factoring in conversion losses, cloud cover, or the reality that sunlight rarely hits a car evenly for an hour. And that's why people say solar panels on cars are pointless. You'd need an entire parking lot full of panels to meaningfully charge your car. But here's where the story gets interesting, because someone decided to ignore that logic and build a car that flips the entire equation upside down. Meet Aptera, a futuristic-looking three-wheeled electric vehicle designed not around horsepower or luxury, but around efficiency. From a distance, it looks like something NASA lost during re-entry. Smooth, narrow, sculpted by wind. But every single curve has a purpose. Aptera's creators realized something brilliant. If you can make a car so efficient that it barely needs energy to move, suddenly solar panels stop being a gimmick and start being useful. This isn't about making a solar car. It's about making the most efficient car ever built. One so aerodynamic and lightweight that sunlight itself becomes a legitimate power source. Let's talk numbers again, because this part is wild. A single U.S. gallon of gasoline contains about 33,700 watt-hours of energy. That's enormous. But internal combustion engines waste most of it as heat. They're only 25 to 35 percent efficient. In practice, a gas-powered pickup might travel four or five miles on that energy. A Prius could go 15 or 16. An electric vehicle, though, uses around 80 to 90 percent of its energy. So that same gallon equivalent could take a Tesla Model 3 roughly 45 miles. Now, Aptera. Aptera's efficiency target is 10 miles per kilowatt hour. That's 100 watt hours per mile. That means on the energy in one liter of gasoline, this car could travel nearly 90 miles. Even if they only reach 70% of that goal, that's still more than 60 miles per liter of gas equivalent energy. To put it in perspective, that's over 330 miles per gallon equivalent. It's not just efficient, it's revolutionary. So how does Aptera achieve this? It starts with aerodynamics. Every wheel is enclosed. The body narrows into a perfect teardrop. It slices through the air with a drag coefficient of 0.13, nearly half that of the most aerodynamic luxury EVs. Then there's weight. The body is made of carbon composites and fiberglass. Despite carrying a 40 kilowatt hour battery, it weighs just 1,800 pounds, less than half of most electric sedans. And instead of using heavy drivetrains, Aptera uses hub motors, one in each wheel. No gearboxes, no extra friction. The result? Instant torque, minimal loss, and a zero to 60 time around four seconds. It's not a compromise between power and efficiency. 
It's a reinvention of both. Now here's where everything connects. Remember that lonely 100 watt solar panel? On a regular EV, it's useless. But on Aptera, because it's so efficient, 100 watt hours actually gets you nearly a mile of range. Aptera doesn't stop there. It's covered in 700 watts of solar panels across the hood, roof, and rear deck. Under good sunlight, that's roughly 40 miles of free driving per day without ever plugging in. For many commuters, that's a full day's travel powered purely by sunlight. So yes, solar panels are useless on most cars. But on a car this efficient, they're suddenly game-changing. This level of efficiency doesn't just make Aptera futuristic, it makes it practical. A 40 kilowatt hour battery in a Nissan LEAF gives about 150 miles of range. The same energy in an Aptera gives 400 miles, nearly three times more. And if you upgrade the battery to 60 or even 100 kilowatt hours, you're looking at 600 to 1,000 miles of range. Charging it from a normal wall outlet adds about 10 miles per hour, three times faster than most EVs. And because it sips energy like a hummingbird, the cost to drive is jaw-droppingly low. At average U.S. electricity rates, that's about one penny per mile, or less if you let the sun do the work. But numbers only tell part of the story. When you sit inside Aptera, it doesn't feel like a science project. It feels surprisingly normal, roomy, quiet, fun. You expect something fragile or awkward, but instead, it feels solid, playful even. The panoramic visibility, the futuristic layout, it's like driving a vision of what cars should have become decades ago. This isn't an attempt to build a niche product. It's a statement that cars don't have to waste energy just because they always have. Of course, every visionary project faces reality. Aptera still needs funding, testing, and scaling to reach full production. They're pushing boundaries, using unconventional materials, new safety frameworks, and regulatory paths. But innovation always walks that tightrope between genius and impossible. Still, if they succeed, they might not just create another electric car. They might redefine how we think about energy and motion itself. After driving the prototype and diving into the numbers, it's hard not to feel excited. Aptera isn't perfect, but it's proof that creativity and physics, not just brute force, can change everything about how we move. Most companies chase bigger batteries or faster chargers. Aptera chased less, less drag, less weight, less waste. And somehow, by focusing on less, they created more, more range, more independence, more imagination. So maybe the world was right. Solar panels don't make sense on cars until someone built a car where they finally do.